Welcome to the Sharp Report for Thursday, November 2nd. I'm Sniper from the Sharp app, the Texas Rangers, the World Series champions. We got a big old NHL slate today. We got college football. We got Thursday night football. Looking forward to all that. We're going to recap yesterday's bets, bets, look ahead to what the data says we should be looking at for today for Thursday's action. I'm going to pull up the Sharp Report. While I do that, do me a favor, smash that like button for me, subscribe to the channel, make sure you get all of the great information from the Sharp app, helping you make the most of sports betting. It was a tough day for the Sharps yesterday. Their little, their skid continues. Uh, one and five on the day. Arizona loses in overtime uh, in in NHL, that is. Chicago under pushes. It's all around. Got a couple, Milwaukee and Memphis, I believe, got blown out. So we move on to today in a second. As you can see, uh, Rest of the plays were pretty flat in the other two columns. Uh, whale goes one and one. The best model plays go two and one. So a small win there. If that's what you're telling, if you're not familiar with the sharp app, what this is, by the way, should do that. I'm just assuming everyone's been here. We had data from a top tier sports book. It lets us follow the sharp money, the long term winners, fade the general population of the sports book. That's column two. Column three, fade those squares, fade the bad betters. Overall, each column is up hundreds of units in the long run and we also like to analyze trends the sharp money right now is cold so if you want to start fading them until until they catch back back up you can go that route i tend to just follow the sharp money i really like fading the um squares as well those are my two favorite columns we got tons of data within the sharp app to use as you would like tons of tools not just picks and plays from our pros which we do have but the, the tools are really what separate us. That link below gets you 20% off. I highly recommend you checking out the Sharp app. This is today's morning run. The Sharp Report is updated multiple times throughout the day, helping you find plus EV plays throughout the day. And as data changes, so does the report. So, for example, right now the Sharps are on six NHL games. As I said, it's a big old NHL slate. As more money comes in, maybe there's less Sharp action on these six plays and something will fall off. In addition, plays can get added throughout the day. So it's important to look at that and stay up to date. Uh, the orange in terms of college football and NFL, those are the ones that are going today because obviously football is big on the weekend. But we got some Thursday games here. Uh, right now the Sharps are on Pittsburgh minus two and a half against Tennessee. Got the TCU over. I do like that. I think I, I bet that yesterday. I decided I had liked that uh, myself. Hopefully the sharp money doesn't come off of it. My bet's locked in. Uh, so uh, we do have those plays right now. The Whale which is a big money better if you're not familiar. He is on uh, Phoenix minus seven and a half NBA game. Got 35 units on that. Yeah, I could just toss up a little 35 minutes. Um, 35 units, I should say. So we've got a first run in the NFL. If you want to look ahead right now, the Sharps have a lot of action. There's a total of just on the, on the uh, Sunday games, nine bets. We'll see what happens there. Could be a very big Sunday for the Sharp betters. NHL, want to look at that because that is what we have the most of tonight. A lot of underdogs. What's interesting, though, and how I like to use this data is the Sharps are on Winnipeg plus 150. The Squares also bet on Winnipeg. I like to fade the Squares. I'm probably just going to pass. So I don't have to play everything on the sheet. I can pick and choose my favorites, cancel out bets when uh, some of our fade plays match the Sharps. Same thing. The Whale is on Phoenix minus 7.5. So are the Squares. I mean, the Whale doesn't care, but in terms of me using the Sharp Report, I end up could being a pass on that game. So a lot of good data here. Uh, a lot of underdogs for the Sharps in hockey. Columbus, Nashville, Winnipeg, Toronto are the four dogs. The Sharps are back, and we'll see if that holds up throughout the day. I hope you enjoyed this first look at the Sharp Report. Make sure you get into the Discord. The link is below. Make sure you're a pro member so you get all of the runs of the Sharp Report throughout the day, and you get the most up-to-date information to help you cash those bets. One more time, guys, smash that like button for me. Drop me in the comments who you think is the best bet on the board today in any sport, NFL, NHL, college football, um, whatever you got. Let me know what your favorite play is. Appreciate all you guys who follow and listen and watch wherever you are watching this. I appreciate you. And here's your daily reminder, guys. It's really important. Play sharp, stay sharp. In the long run, you will make money that way. Good luck at whatever bets you make, and I will see you next time on The Sharp Report.